Hey, it's Scott. And I wanted to go ahead and quickly touch on a recent article that I came across that, to be honest, completely had me at the title. Whereas the title of the article was Nipples and Numos. So with that in mind, not only should it get the award for truly the most creative title for an article, however, more importantly, it actually had a couple really good tips when it comes to needling pneumos. The first of which is, remember, if you're going to stick the front, right? What we're taught in school is that you go ahead and you find the second intercostal space at the mid-clavicular line. Now, why that's important is several research studies have shown that where people think the mid-clavicular line is, is not where the mid-clavicular line is. And why that's important is, by definition, clavicular means clavicle. And remember, the clavicle goes all the way from here on the sternum, all the way over here to the tip of the shoulder. And what several studies have shown is, is that we tend to go way too medial on the inside, forgetting that the clavicles actually go out even further. So with that in mind, what they found with this article was an easy way to remember where the heck is the mid-clavicular line was using the nipples for pneumos. And if you simply find where the nipples should be, go ahead and follow them straight up. And if you follow them straight up, guess what? Chances are that's your mid-clavicular line. Now, take that one step further is not only in babies, but also now more commonly in children and in big people, we're getting away from sticking the front and we're very much going to sticking the side. So why this is a problem is we have to figure out, well, where the heck do I put the needle if it's going on the side? Well, the way you remember that is, number one, remember from a previous Give Me Five, if you're going to the front, you hopefully have two nipples. So it's the second intercostal on the front. Versus if you're going to stick the side, your patient hopefully on that side has five fingers. So it's the fifth if you're going to stick them on the side. Great, but where the heck is that? So again, using nipples for pneumos. Remember, follow up this way, that's your big clavicular line. Take where the nipples should be, follow them straight over to the side, and guess what? That's more or guess your fifth intercostal space. So when you're trying to figure out whether it's a baby or a big person, where the heck do I put this needle? Remember, follow the nipple straight up. That's your mid-clavicular line. Follow the nipple straight over if you're going to stick the side. That's more or guess the fourth or the fifth intercostal space. And when it comes to needling pneumos, simply remember the article. Use your nipples for pneumos and you'll be ready to pop the pneumo. Scenarios in Seconds was designed to be a simple and effective way to regularly train for pediatric emergencies. A Navy SEAL said it best, under pressure, we don't rise to the occasion, we sink to the level of our training. Ultimately, your next PEDS patient could be your worst PEDS patient. And we don't want you to just get ready, we want you to stay ready. And Scenarios in Seconds was designed to help you do just that.